Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and in today's video, I'm doing another practice sealed build. So I've got the, the last sealed build was the last six packs of my box that I opened. Here are the six packs before that. Um, we're going to go ahead and put 20 minutes on the clock and see what I can build in that time. Uh, so for characters, uh, we've got a strat that we can't use, of course, battle cards, character, character, battle cards, character, strat, battle cards, character, strat. Ooh, it looks like we have a matching stratagem and uh, character in this case. Head, battle cards, and the last one is chrome dome. All right. So taking a super quick look at our characters, the nice thing is we do have Crankcase at seven stars and his ability. While you have Crankcase Collector on the field, your opponent's cards can't cause you to scrap cards from her hand. Um, I mean, it'll put him at eight stars, and I, I'm actually wondering how often that'll happen. I guess if I'm counter espionaged, um, but I wonder if counter espionage is a card that you don't care about all that much in this particular format. Um, but okay, so that's good to know. Then for our heads, we've got two two stars and a three star. Um, focus one or one defense. I feel like if I'm going to do a headmaster, test floor is the head to go. I'm going to stick these away for now. Not that they're unusable, I just probably won't use them. And then of course two unusable stratagems. Okay, so uh, next let's look at our star count on the bodies. So wingspan, I don't have any six star guys, um, which I feel like makes Optimus a little hard to use. Because um, ideally I get him, I get a one star head, and then I get two six star bodies and I can go three wide. Without that, I'm a little hesitant to put Optimus out there. Um, instead, if I've got two stars here, um, so Chrome Dome plus, um, actually Chrome Dome plus his head, right, Tesla? Or no, that's not Chrome Dome's head, is it? That's uh, Brainstorm. Um, so Chrome Dome plus Brainstorm's head will sit at 10 stars, and that means I've got another 15 to use. So I've got a two sevens to choose from. Uh, well, this would require a head, so I guess it's Crankcase. And then I've got an eight star character. Um, so I could, I could go this route, um, which puts me at kind of middling health. Um, 11, 11, 13, if I flip things around, yeah, 11, 1. So generally two characters that I don't need to flip, I feel like. And then I just flip Chrome Dome back and forth. That's an idea. The other option would be um, Bludgeon is 11 stars, so he's actually more expensive than Chrome Dome. Um, but it, it's something to think about. Okay, so for now, we're going to call characters generally decided. Wingspan, Crankcase, Chrome Dome. We'll, we'll see how that one goes. All right, now let's do uh, the battle cards. So we've got a white. We've got black, we've got white, we've got blue, blue, uh, Master Metallicato is a bit of everything. We'll stick you aside for now. Um, black, blue, black, uncolored, orange, 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 green, black, blue, green, blue, uncolored, black, orange, orange, green, White, black, blue, orange, uncolored, uncolored, green, orange, blue, black, 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 green. Um, do any of my characters care about the color? So wingspan swings with a three or a four. Um, when I flip, um, when I, he's this way and he gets an upgrade scrapped, I get to put it under him which gives him plus one defense. I don't know that I care about that, but I guess if I flip him back and forth, I can draw a card. Crankcase also, when I flip him back and forth, I can draw a card. So I guess it's nice that I have card draw. Um, he does get a five swing on this base, and if I have enough cards in hand, he swings with eight. So it might be worth to try and get some card draw. And then Chrome Dome's thing is flip to this mode, taking actions and putting them in the KO area, 
eventually giving him plus three, so he swings with seven. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the rest of our stuff. Um, in terms of pip count, we've got more orange options this time, which is nice. Um, hull down is only an or well, well, we'll see when we get there. Um, I guess off the top of my head, like Lucky Dodge is obviously not really playable. Um, what else we got in the uncolored? Blade Fury I kind of like, depending on how many upgrades we get. And then we got two Temporal Quagmires. Um, so basically, chopping down on Bold and Tough. That might matter. That might matter. We'll hold off for now. Uh, let's go through our orange pips. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, Spiked Bracelet is a utility that gives Tough 2. I feel like that is an easy one to drop if needed. I might keep it just for the orange pip. Um, Junk Cannon deals with upgrading upgrades. Um, okay, two spiked bracelets. Hull Down. Hull Down is actually probably one I dropped um, because this pip doesn't matter unless I play Quake. Um, which I'd be choosing to play Quake. He'd be taking up more stars just to get value out of this card. That, that seems like an easy one to drop. Um, try the Lithium Shield. So this is good against Decepticons. And it's an orange pip. So right now we're sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of my 25 cards could be orange with one double pip among them. Okay. Next, let's go into blues. Um, lock on target. Well, bold four might be worth playing as like a blank. Because I, I would just want to flip as many black pips as possible. Um, scouting mission, drawing cards, especially with crankcase might be good. And hostilities could matter. Um... Electro optical visor. I guess I could play this in a turn when I see with Chrome Dome. Um, brass knuckles for bold two. Hand to hand combat. When it attacks, it's for melee. My characters are specialist. I've got one melee character, so hand to hand combat might be a card to drop. Um, especially considering. Well, let's see how many weapons we've got in here. One, two, two. Um, not, no, no more weapons in here. Um, Paralyzo Box, uh, it's like, well, no, I'd have to play it, to pick it up, I'd have to pick it up with a ranged character, which I'm, none of my guys is, nope. Oh, well, Crankcase could, so if I have Crankcase in the right mode and I flip this, I can pick it up. That just seems like a trap. Mission briefing, I think I, I need some a card draw, um, especially if I'm flipping guys all over the place. And then bot mode to alt mode, um, hit and run might drop. We'll, we'll see. I am running two bot mode characters. Then we've got uh, Concealing Contrails. It's still a black pip. When one of your characters defends and you flip battle cards, um, so four black pips, which I'm, I'm running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black cards. Uh, 10, 11-ish. Um, so that seems significant. Enhanced Power Cell is an easy keep. Oh, here's a weapon. Okay. So here's more weapons. Grab Inhibitor. Inhibitor. Here's a weapon. Uh, decoy Flares. When the character defends, you may scrap this card if you do. Uh, sure, why not? Because that could work with Wingspan's thing. Scrapping it, he gets plus two defense, and then it goes under him, and he gets another plus one defense. That seems like um, an odd goal to have, but it's still... A black pip card. Came in crashes and auto keep disassemble same. Um, laser scalpel might go away. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get down to it. Cool. So I've got some weapons. Uh, Master Metalcado with me running what I'm running. I feel like this is an easy include also. Um, most of the time it's going to be an orange pip, which is nice. Uh, Blade Fury. So here's where we get it. Ooh. Green pips. Um, stun gun, okay. If I play a green, okay, gives him plus one reflect damage. Hollow matter projector, these two might not matter. Triangulator, focus one. When you put this on a character, you may play another triangulator. Well, I've only got one. Um, but it essentially lets me get focus two on Chrome Dome, which I think could matter. And then sharpen talons. So, okay. So now we're, we're let's count our cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need to cut 7. Um, and I'm not in love with the cards I have. Let's split this into actions and upgrades and see what things look like. All right, we've got a weapon, secret action, armor, utility, weapon, action, secret action, secret action, action, utility, action, armor, uh, action, secret action, utility, weapon, 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 armor, weapon, uh, armor, weapon, utility, utility, uh, action, 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 secret action, armor, utility, and armor. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapons. I think it's a decent number of weapons. We've got a lot of armors. I think we can cut, like looking at it this way, I think we can cut some armors. Um, let's get rid of the optical visors. I'm going to be doing Chrome Domes thing. I don't, most of the time I'm not trying to play it, an armor and it's blue pips that don't really matter. Um, the rest of them, I might get rid of decoy flares. We'll, we'll keep going down the list. Um, spikes, uh, it's an orange pit, but like, tough to, it's an orange pip that I'm essentially not playing ever. I guess I've got a decent number of green pips that I could pick it up for, um, but I see myself dropping, let's drop one spiked bracelet for now. Um, brass knuckles, I mean I like getting bold too. Um, laser scalpel is double black pips, it's pierced, that one might stay. Triangulator might go away. I don't know that I care about Focus 1 elsewhere if that's all this does. Like, building it up into Focus 3 would be cool, um, but that's not happening here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so yeah. Alright. Need some card draw. Um, bold 4, like, it's it's a blank pip, but it's bold 4, like that. If I can play it on a turn, I'll play it that turn. Um, Hit and run, moving some damage. That will matter. Uh, mission briefing, disassemble, came in, crash master, metallicado, blade, fury. I think those I want to all keep. Um, and hostilities, like that could... <sighs> that might not matter, is the thing. Like, we're playing sealed, so what are the odds that my opponent flips a ton of orange? Not a lot. I guess it helps my orange matter defensively. Um, but I could see myself dropping that. Um, let's drop the quagmires. They're blanks. All right. Now what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Ooh, I just need to drop one. Okay. Out of these... Uh, and hostilities is a possibility. Concealing contrails. Um, defender gets plus one defense for, at the end of battle for each black pip you flipped. I could see that mattering also, but that might be... I mean, it's a black pip. Reflect damage. So this one is the one that I'm torn on. I essentially want to play reflect damage when my opponent plays came in crash. It's a common, so they might have it. Um... But like, that's the only way. What else? What else would I? When exactly one of your so quake doesn't matter. Um, they're never going to combine up into like sky shadow. That's not happening in sealed. So that that doesn't matter. Um, it's canyon crash and it's like there is a decent amount of direct damage, but like magnetic dysfunction ray doesn't. Uh, this doesn't touch it. Precision, what is it? Precision fire, this doesn't touch. Um, it's really just, oh, does my opponent have came in crash? So let's drop that. All right, now let's take a look at what we've got. So, this is the deck that I'll be playing. Um, we've got 
wingspan, um, specialist. If I flip him into this mode and he has an upgrade and gets scrapped, I get to put it under him, flip him back, it counts as a defense. Now I feel like that's not going to happen. But he has two defense in this mode, and um, he attacks with three or four, probably three, um, because the other side is one defense. So two and a three attack with a weapon, like that's not bad. Um, if I do manage to flip him, then I get to draw a card, um, which I am playing. Uh, we are playing hit and run. So I could, if I have a turn where I have hit and run, flip him to bot mode and then use this to flip him back and I get to draw a card and move a damage counter. So that, that seems like that's not terrible. Crate case is kind of the same way. Um, swings with four, swings with five in this mode. If I do get a lot of cards in hand, then he gets plus three, which is nice. Um, again, card draw with hit and run. So I like those two options with hit and run. And then Chrome Dome's the one I'm gonna be flipping the most, which I, I kind of like this setup. Um, flipping it back and forth, because every time I flip to this mode, my opponent gets, um, or I get to look at my opponent's hand and put an action out of the game, which I like. Flipping it back to this mode, um, if I get three, then I, um, I, I get plus three and I'm attacking with seven. Out of the cards that we have in our battle card deck, we've got a plus one weapon, which if I play greens becomes a plus two. A plus two weapon that is a green. Grab inhibitor, which is a plus or pierce three, which I like. Industrial grade phase charge, scrap it to turn a plus two into a plus three. And junk cannon, if I manage to upgrade characters multiple times, um, then that get, turns into a plus two, mostly for the pips. Um, I do have, I'm fine taking reflect damage off because I've got, oh, maybe that's what I drop. Instead of reflect damage, maybe I drop hollow matter projector. Um, I guess I could put this on someone to protect them from non-combat damage. I, I prefer this, I think. Decoy Flares, Trilithium Shield, mostly because of the orange pip. Um, improvised Shield, because of the orange pips. Utilities, Laser Scalpel, Enhanced Power Cell, Spiked Bracelet, Brass Knuckles, and then I've got a Blade Fury, Master Metallicato, Came and Crash, Disassemble, Mission Briefing, Hit and Run, Lock on Target, Scouting Mission, Concealed Controls, and End Hostilities. I think... That is pretty good, and I still have two minutes on the clock, so even faster this time than last time. And again, we'll be playing some games to see how this turns out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.